Hello everyone, my name is Adrenan and today we are doing a tutorial on transparency capture. Okay, this is a little thing that you can get for free on Unity that allows you to take screenshots of things in Unity that you're working on. For example, this is something that I've been working on. I mostly do a game called Seven Days to Die and uh, this is a prefab that uh, I've got that's been worked up for me and uh, so I set it all up and used transparency capture to grab this little transparency, transparent background image. And now I can use this in the game as a thumbnail, or I could in theory use it pretty much anywhere I needed to. So if you had say like a character or a animal, uh, an enemy, um, a building, a car, anything you really need, anything you could put into Unity, and you need a transparent background to use for say a media kit or in-game images or anything it could be done with this program all right so let's get uh, to it so generally what you need to do yeah if you just search up uh, transparency capture this is the one by orange 030 and you can uh, then kind of come over here i've already got it um for free so if i just open it up in unity it's there but normally what you would do is uh, once you find it on the asset store, uh, either in the Unity editor or in uh, the asset store on whatever your favorite browser is, you just uh, bring it up. I'll try to put some links into the description of the video and go from there. All right, so if we grab Unity here, you can see that this is the object that I took the image of. And yeah, it's right here. So the setup for this is a little bit uh different um so you kind of have to go over to your asset store or wherever you have it trans pair and it's actually this guy right here transparency capture this little green thing and yeah you just import it now i don't know if it'll let me do this very well in here okay so yeah it is actually doing it not too badly uh, and you just uh, you can see everything that it's going to import and then you would hit import I've already done it so I'm not actually going to do it again it takes a couple seconds just a little couple of bars kind of flash up along the screen and then it's then it'll be installed uh, I'm just gonna hit cancel for myself but you'd hit uh, import and then that uh, brings it usually into your assets this is a little bit of a complicated project but uh, let's just close some of it up and it makes this little transparency capture thing down over here now that allows you to uh, see these scripts and stuff there's a little readme here and it just sort of tells you how to use it um it took me a, a little bit of a try to get this thing working and it wasn't exactly um i don't know quite as straightforward as that anyhow from here once it's all imported, you can go back to your scene. Uh, it says to make a scene. Uh, now, it doesn't, whatever the first part of the thing is, doesn't usually seem to work for me. So, yeah, now I just make a scene uh, by going here, new scene, and then do you want to save changes? Yeah, sure, why not? And this is the one I had from before, but if I go file, this is an untitled scene. If I go file, save scene, it'll ask me what to save it as. And uh, I'll just go toot as in tutorial for you guys. And it's right down here. Now there's nothing really in the scene other than the main camera and the uh, directional light. And so we're, we are got to put something in here to take a picture of, right? So what can we put in here? Uh, I've got all kinds of little weapons and stuff for my game. Um, here's some that I was thinking I would try to put into the game that I haven't quite uh, done yet. Uh, let's see here, where are they all? Right now I just dragged it onto the into the main scene window and I'm just gonna hit uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 because I need this for later on when I uh, set it up for my particular game that I use it for. So what we next do is so yeah you can see it's all here it's got its material so you know once you get to this stage of it's all kind of ready to go you zoom out and you find your camera here it is now you can see that it's very tiny if we took a picture with this 
if we hit play it's you know that's not going to make good <laughs> good anything really it's not a good promotional thing it's not a good thumbnail in game so we move it closer and closer and closer until we're pretty much good and uh yeah and now you can finally zoom in and kind of get a bit of a better look at this thing now if that's what you wanted for your thumbnail cool whatever you can do that and what what I might do though is uh, give this thing a bit of a rotation, make it look a little more dramatic, you know, whatever you need to do. Uh, and you can of course change your cameras, you know, angles and all that as needed to get the exact angle you want for whatever it is you're taking an image of. Okay, next is you need to go down to transparency capture, take your transparency capture to file so this script here you're going to want to drag this up onto your axe first actually let's just make sure that we see this you can see here that there's no script on here so but when we do this drag it on here now over here you see that there is transparency capture to file great beautiful so if you were to hit play now you were to hit C, it should capture an image. Sometimes it actually flashes a little bit white on here to be able to see this. So let's go see if there is a file. Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. And so to find this file though, it's a little bit trickier. Um, what you may want to do because it doesn't actually say anywhere where it's captured and in the script if you were to look at it uh, it says you know it just kind of goes here and it says capture.png and if you go over to this code really all it does is it just passes that into one of the functions in here and saves it to a location you know file name and it just writes it so but that location is actually you know just the base of the unity project so the base of the unity project for me is in all my unity stuff under the specific title of the uh, project itself which is you know dbat melee january 28 2009 i know it's a very creative name ignore it for now <laughs> whatever you call it you could be the name of your game the name of your program um example of whatever you're doing so it's in here uh, mine's got a couple of extra things to do with c sharp but you know you just hit that little capture up png and that's what it is so it's not in assets or libraries or anything else where kind of what you would assume because you know assets transparency capture is down over here but it doesn't put it in that little folder it puts it above everything else so it's kind of trickier to find but once you know where to look uh it's there anyway, that was a little bit of a thing that got me and i it makes sense from a computer science kind of point of view where like you know there's no other bits of directory so it's kind of just relative to this project which kind of makes sense you know in retrospect anyway Gotta stop that and we'll save it and um yeah that's pretty much that so if you guys enjoyed that tutorial hit the like button and if you are new to the channel and want to see more content about uh, seven days to die or modding perhaps we'll do some more tutorials on unity uh yeah we'll see how things go and uh i will see you in another video bye bye